No, oh, I just came out here to check. And I guess a lot of my fruit trees did get some damage after all. Just saw a whole bunch of deer over there. Didn't have the GoPro ready. This tree's history, it. This is one of the new ones that uh, I planted right after the fire. Uh, it just frustrates me. This one. That one got some damage. That'll be okay, though. I can just cut that limb off. But that... I can cut that one off. This one is leaning pretty bad. Uh, Wow, that one needs straightened out pretty good. Darn it. Okay, so we had wind, so I came over here to get a bucket. I thought I'd check my fruit trees. This is one of my veggie buckets flew back here. What a mess. Look at that Bermuda. Look how that Bermuda grows. It just kind of takes over. Anyway, look at the pretty moon. It's Christmas Eve, and just kind of looking here. Let's take some mushrooms. Kind of think I'm going to uh, do blackberries in this area this next season. Not a hundred percent, but I want to move them. From where they are they will do very well blackberries are so tough they will be fine and they'll actually thrive you can yank them out of the ground and they'll do good <laughs> so i'm thinking this would be a good area because it gives them a lot of room and then i can harvest from both sides instead of just on one side and then if there are any snakes, I can see them and I want to spread the canes pretty far apart. But I'm going to have to talk to the husband see. We want to leave a little bit of this room where we can drive the commander around here. I sure miss all the trees that used to be back here. We used to have picnics back here and you couldn't even see us. Anyway, all right, y'all, Wendy at Hardneck Farms.